Hello and welcome to Let's Play in the Space 2, Series 7, Episode 77. I'm JC Proton, and we're picking up at turn 233. Uh, doing something a little different today, since 7 is like the number of completion. Uh, I'm going to do a complete turn. Uh, I normally do uh, a fair bit of stuff off, uh, off camera. Uh, and uh, today, you know, that, that makes the videos quicker, right? Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a full, <clears throat> a full uh, turn. Um, so uh, all that's happened is I loaded the game and I watched uh, the Cravers. The Cravers popped out a uh, a colonizer ship. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so what I did is I uh, pulled these two carriers um, and the hero out of. Uh, well, I, I separated the uh, the undamaged ships from the fleet. Um, and I'm going to attack just to get the, uh, the free repair from the, uh, the repair tactic. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, other things on, on the agenda for this turn, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take down, uh, the Craver home system shoe, uh, for realsies this time. Uh, last, at the end of last, uh, video, it was, uh, just kind of a test run and, uh, had way too many, uh, Way too many invader ships, and we doing too much damage. So we're gonna we're gonna invade at Shu, uh, Shu, however you say that. Um, and looks like Octans is we're gonna take down next turn, and Selim will probably be a couple couple more turns from now, something like that. Um, we'll move uh, fleets up uh, to guard and. Uh, protect our systems and uh, siege help and we'll probably move some some fleets start moving fleets out toward these outlying systems perhaps <clears throat> um, and you know we'll check through all of uh, these messages and stuff that, that, that we have going on uh, a lot of that I, I, I consider to just be clutter and I don't really uh, include uh, a lot of the time what's going on over here uh oh Ships of an unknown empire. And they're parked. Oh, man. There's not a system there. Why are they showing parked out in deep space? This is the same thing that happened. Um, I started seeing that a few turns before my, uh, my last series. Series 6 crashed out. <clears throat> That's concerning. Um, series 6 ended with uh, some sort of corruption on the save file, and I couldn't load the game and continue it. Hopefully that won't happen here. Uh, I would really like to be able to do a score victory or an elimination victory. Um, we'll try. Okay, so anyway, let's get rocking here. Um, so that's, that's the overall plan of what's going on. Uh, so we'll do that quick little battle... Uh, Move all our fleets. Tell everybody to execute their planned moves. Everybody go to the places where I was saying to go. Uh, we'll go down here. This guy. So we're what we're gonna do here? See these uh, ships have some damage on them, um, and so I'm gonna do. Um, I, I, I did not. I, I rolled out of bed not too long ago, so I'm still kind of waking up. But we're going to do repair and recover for the free 30% health recover at the end of the battle. And uh, I know there's no... It doesn't matter if we watch it or not. He's going to retreat. Uh, you know, that, that ship's not going to fight these guys. So... Cover. Yep. <clears throat> so just get a free repair on those fleets. He retreats. And now you see that one is at full health, and this one is almost full. So that's great. We'll go ahead and leave these guys out just in case there's a fight that needs to happen. They have an action point, and see these the the battle fleet does not have an action point anymore. All right, 
so let's just kind of run through these. That's done. We know not what game you play, but we have a proposal. Okay. He wants a truce. Not happening. Well, if it isn't our favorite empire, up to their usual japes. Okay, hopefully, hopefully the volume's okay. Seems like it's a little low to me. <clears throat> Lost population on BH. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely negative there. Population on the places where it helps us with the food. Ha! Huh. <clears throat> They're proposing a truce. Okay, well, I can certainly afford 3,400. I have 174,000, so I will refuse. Thanks, but no. Okay, so we're almost ready to rock and roll here. Ruins. Virtual Dustalizer. Uh, BH21. Oh, okay. So that was the... There was a curiosity um, on one of these, and I used the planet to... Whatever, I, I use the system industry to research it, to discover it, because I didn't have a scout over there. Okay, virtual dustalizer. So we now have the option of converting population into dust instead of converting the population over into Horatio. <clears throat> so if I was to do that, it would look like... But you can only do one, and it takes the entire production of the system. So not really great. Not, not, not like a thing I would actually want to do. Most of the time, it would be <clears throat> like if I guess if you were playing non Horatio, and you uh, therefore didn't have the. gene splicing ge genetic recoding ability to do genetic alteration labs and transform their other populations into yours I could see where that would be useful if you had populations you wanted to get rid of um, it would be a way of doing that um, so cool to have it in the game uh, it, it would be situationally useful right all right we've got some population that grew a whole bunch of Horatio as usual. Cool. Um, we built a bunch of stuff. Alright, we'll come back to that. And we completed Genius of the Endless. So normally my, my general kind of routine is on a turn is I'll, I'll, I'll load the turn, I'll check all the messages, um, get a lot of the stuff out of the way um, and then I'll actually record the episode of me doing like battles and whatever um, and anything that like is still remaining that's like significant uh, that's that's what I'll focus on for a video and then the rest of it I just kind of do off camera normally genius of the endless so we get 10% more in just uh, more I keep saying it wrong I have a habit of saying industry instead of research Plus 10% more research on systems and minus 20% research on technology costs. So that is huge. So now our 
research is at 222,000. Wow, nice. That's really a lot. <clears throat> uh, at that rate, we'll get through the tech tree. That's, that's the thing that's going to happen. Cool. Um, so the next thing researched is this. Yeah. So we'll get these uh, advanced P laser fighters. And then we'll get the um, advanced bombers. Right now we have, uh, have the basic P laser fighters and the basic plasma bombers. So we're going to be upgrading to advanced uh, laser fighters and advanced plasma bombers. You can see that on our carrier designs. We have the basic laser fighters and the basic plasma bombers. So Cool, and then after we have those knocked out, we are probably going to upgrade our carrier designs and we'll start building better carriers. And we have this objective achieved. Great, so that gets us two leaders. And then this gets us another leader. So this one is uh, obviously the best one. He's a overseer, Horatio, ecologist. And uh, I think we're a federation, right? <clears throat> yeah, so we're a federation. So one of the th cool things that gets us is we get plus one um, expansion per hero in the government or, or per hero of that uh, that's represented in the government, <coughs> which the next election is in seven turns. Um, so right now our government is ecologists and militarists. So me getting... Um, this guy adds an ecologist and me getting uh, this guy, he's a militarist. So that's going to increase my maximum population uh, number of systems by two. So I'm going to be at 34 of 38. It's going to raise that by two. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose those real now just so you see the, the change. See now it's 37. Oh, maybe I guess it's already, yeah, I already got those guys, so that's why it went up already. Okay, so I'll be at 37. So that's great. Uh, okay, so places I want to put them is places where we have lots of food cap. So it's going to be this system and this system for sure. So prime. Senator Crazy Fog is out. And the governor that looks like. Oh, and that, that bug with the scroll bar is there. See, there's no scroll bar. And then I do it again, and there's the scroll bar. Okay, put him in there. He's like a clone of my uh, starting hero. All right, so we'll do two there, two there, two there, one there. One there. And two there. That's the plan. Okay, so before we do that, let's look at our starting level of we'll do the before and after so right now we are producing 95 blue cap per turn okay and we'll do this That's plus 10 industry, or that's plus 10 industry. Either way. Okay, 
So we were at 95. <clears throat> now we're at 109.2 per turn. Wow, that was a big increase. Nice. Um, so we're done with him. Okay, next hero. Where else do we have blue cap? Um, I guess he's the same dude. Uh, nine, here's one, AE. Two blue cap deposits. And this guy's out. This guy will be now. Uh, sure, militarist leader guy. Okay. And we'll assign him some skills. He's not as good. He doesn't have that uh, same resource skill. More influence, more dust. Doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so he's going to grow, um, he'll, he'll level up and we'll get more, so, but right now it's only a plus two on deposit values. <clears throat> but there's two deposits, so in theory that could be a plus four, but because it's endless uh, duration that might get cut in half. So it was at plus nine, now it's at 10.6 for the system, and we're at plus 111. <clears throat> yeah, so you'd only get plus two instead of plus four because of endless difficulty or endless duration, I guess. I don't know. For what for some reason it's 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 the output is halved. <clears throat> I think it's the duration. Endless duration that cuts it in half. Okay, and then I don't think we have any more systems that have two blue caps. This is one, this is one, this is one, and this is one, and this is one. So, I'll choose one that seems like either AF or AJ. <clears throat> That'll be a higher production system, so I'm going to choose that one to put him. So I'll place the governor there. He has that system happiness ability, so I want to avoid putting points into this. And again, he's he'll he'll have to level up to be able to afford, fill that out. And he's at five point three. So now our total blue cap production per turn is up to. 113.5 from 95 so it's gone up by 18.5 pretty darn nice increase uh, and it was 95 so that's almost a 20% increase <clears throat> pretty darn good pretty darn good I'm pretty happy with that we got that hero deployed and we have that one deployed okay we're almost through this list <clears throat> that we'll come back to that and we'll come back to that and that is 
good. Okay, <clears throat> now we have fleet movements. Let's go ahead and figure out this invasion for real. Uh, he only has 95 troops. I think I'm going to take my... Let's see, how much do I have here? I don't need all of this here. need a guarding fleet here. And I don't think these guys can make it. No. Okay. What I want to do is move some battle fleet over here. And then see what happens if I move this guy. He cannot make it. Okay. So it's going to have to be my main fleet. All right. It'll take time before I'm ready to invade anyway. So I'm just going to pull some invaders back here. Maybe we'll go with just one invader. We could go with no invaders even. <clears throat> I think I'll, I'll still keep one. I'll keep one invader on the attack here. Because he's not at zero. If he was at zero, I would probably... I could get away with zero inv invaders, I think. Okay, it has been a long, long time coming, but finally we're going to be capturing the Craver Home System. Uh, and it's, this is you know the, the the icon. I noticed on the uh, replay when I was I was checking the last video that when Selim became the new capital, um, it was like this, but it had two red dots. It had red dots on either side. So I guess that's a visual difference. Um, Showing that, okay, yeah, this is their functioning capital, but it's not their actual home system. <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see if that replicates here. I th I'm sure. I'm sure it will. Okay, so let's invade. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to try to go as gently as possible on this invasion we want to try to minimize the damage to the system and the populations Okay, cool. So 24 improvements, 20 population. <clears throat> Four improvements destroyed. We still lost the fabrication license. That's unfortunate. That is, that is an expensive building. Fabrication license is over here. And this one somewhere over here. Yeah. Oh, it's not. I was thinking it was like twenty-five thousand to build. It's not. It's twenty-five adamantium, though. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's a lot. It's still. I mean, twenty-five adamantium is a lot. 
for some reason in my brain I was thinking it was 25,000 um, industry but in, either way I'd rather have it be the 25,000 uh, industry than the 25 adamantium especially because I like to play on you know scarce resources so okay so no this is uh, it's still the same symbol okay cool all right, well, we'll see here. What do we have going on here? What do we have for cool stuff? Lots of good stuff. Patriot pills can go. Exotic rations can go. Just because they, they increase the amount of food going to troops, and I don't really have a problem with that. I want the amount of food being food so that if I am at max population, it rolls into industry with super biofuel factories. I, I like I like the food to be the food instead of the food to be the troops. I have plenty of troops. I'll scrap those. Okay, cool. All right, what are the things we need to do here? Well, we need to colonize Shiu three, and that needs to be producing that instead. Take people off of snow and put them on jungle. And people off of snow and put them on savanna. Oh, I can't. It's already maxed out. Okay. And at minus 249 food? Yeah. Uh, we're going to have cravers starving to death. Um, but yeah, we'll get to this toxic planet and then we'll move the, if, if there are any survivors, we'll move them from this snow planet over to the toxic planet because it has more food output. Um, let's see here, that, that, this is going to become this. for industry that's that's enough to get it started um, well I mean okay in completion I would normally Okay, building that because that's fourth more in uh, population. That would get terraformed. This would get terraformed. Uh, we definitely need more food happening. through a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Something roughly like like that. <laughs> hmm. And it can be upgraded. It's more important to get this resource flowing than to modernize the system. C E F G H I. So this becomes B I 40 husk. Because that's its home. It's a unique planet. BI 40 husk. Okay, and we're going to ship some um, population, some, um, some of our native population there. Um, so what I'll do is I'll sort by population, and basically 
the systems that have the highest populations have the, generally the highest output going on. Um, so I'll ship uh, population from systems that have relatively lower um, outputs. So 8K. So husk. I don't know if I ever sent population to BH either. I'll have to look. 8K. AJ. So that's six going to husk. Um, and I'm not sure if I ever sent any to BH. I kind of think I did not. Oh, yep, yeah, there they are. There's one going to BH. So that means I probably sent about a half a dozen to BH. So I don't need to worry about uh, doing that now then. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, we've got population going to the Craver systems. You don't really need to worry about sending any more. The formerly Craver systems. Um, this quest here. Four cravers there now, and I think I need, that's what I needed, right? Yep. So next turn that'll complete. I guess three landed this turn. Okay. Those are the current quests. Okay, and that's fine. We're we're, we're on target here um, with our research. Good, that's all good. Colonize the planet at AV3. I think we want the food. Culture domes. Let's do that along with everybody else. And you are already terraforming. You need to terraform up to a desert. You can do that wherever everybody else is doing their terraforming. Seems like around here. Does this one have strategics? Nope. That structure is really good for strategics, so I, that's one where if I build that, I actually take a peek. Okay, BB and BC, we completed some genetic alteration labs. Cool, man. Let's see how that's looking. Still depleted, so this will become undepleted next turn. It'll be 
almost depleted but not depleted anymore next turn um okay on bb and bc okay see almost depleted almost depleted almost depleted cool all right so now we can move these around wherever we want them to building yep we're gonna do these colonizings that's good all right that looks like it's on target all right yeah this was the BH where we studied the rune ruins and got the virtual dustalizer tech cool looks like all that is on target Okay, now we're just moving fleets around at this point. All right, so we're gonna leave a garrison force at Husk. Um, anything that is adjacent to a system where they still own it. Uh, we need a decent garrison force and then everything else can be kind of thin. Let's see, these can move up here. These can move up here. See, we did not build any carrier. So we'll start from the back and work our way forward. We got two carriers here. Okay, both of those can come down this way. Okay, we have an attacker and two carriers. I think both the carriers can come this way. Here we have <laughs> two carriers. they're far enough back they can both come up this way and I think that attacker can probably come this way to be a or maybe not even be needed DD One carrier goes that way, and the other carrier goes this way. Then all of this can come up here. All of that's going up there. Then I can drop a carrier off here and just leave him guarding. Move him into this fleet, into the battle fleet so he can make the trip. We'll move the battle fleet over here to seal them. Guard. We can drop the revealer out. See if a fleet pops out or not. Now, see, this one's coming back this way. That's fine. Okay, let's bring the siege over. So our siege is currently at 48. Bring the siege fleets in, and now we're at. Ooh, something just happened. Battle fleet attack. <laughs> something just popped out here. Uh, a couple of mediums and a couple of smalls. Okay, so he's going to retreat. Let's see the, how tough is that fleet? <laughs> 3,600. Okay, yeah. That 
fleet does not stand a chance. Not a chance. Um, in fact, we'll not even do repair and recover. We'll just do full reserves. I'm sure they won't stay around. What are they armed with? Missiles. Lots of missiles. Okay, well. Since it's a lot of missiles, I'll respect it. I'll pile everything together in one flotilla so theoretically our stuff can shoot down the missiles somewhat. And we're doing full reserves because we want to preserve the action point in case we need to attack some other fleet or something this turn. And we have them outgunned by a mile, so yeah, they just retreated. Okay. Cool. So we're now sieging at 531. We'll go ahead and move the invader and siege ships that are still there. So by the time these Craver fleets arrive here, when we click next turn, we'll move everything and we'll have these ships two carriers and another cruiser will show up so we'll have three carriers in that fleet yeah <coughs> i think we'll have that covered no problem um okay so that's sieging down by a big amount and let's see octans so octans and selum will be invadable let's see selums in two turns Octans is next turn. Let's see. I can move one of those siege fleets up to see them. Okay, two invaders can move up here. We're only going to need one here. long yeah it's a long it's, it's long it takes a while <laughs> okay they retreated oh look at that experience gained I thought you didn't get experience from retreats there's been some changes there's been some tweaks that happened I don't know I don't I remember that no experience from retreats and I remember it was 200 troops from um, Drafting, not 175, so interesting. All right, it's messy, but we'll just leave it like that in the interest of time. Uh, okay, so BG has fleets. He has an attacker he can leave behind. Okay, these invaders can all come up here. I think what's going to end up happening, yeah, I'll, I'll end up putting like a couple of carriers on each of these outlying systems, uh, probably. So I'm going to have to just start moving. Moving them up. Okay, 
And since that's adjacent, I'll go ahead and have that stay beefy for now. Maybe move one carrier over. And that seems pretty much okay. I need to get more attackers in here so I can free up that carrier. <clears throat> Okay, cool. I think that's pretty close to being done with the uh, with the turn. Uh, Revealer has nothing to shoot at, so he's just gonna chill. The siege can chill. The invaders can chill. The siege can chill. Revealer over here can hang out. That dude can just hang out. Those dudes can just hang out. That dude. Okay, that's all the fleet movement. Um, okay, so we had uh, gotten rid of cram exam and gone with all hands, uh, whatever, power to the people, and that did yield an increase in research. I want to, I'm curious as to whether or not brains or over bucks or cram exam is better. So we're gonna do a test. So right now we're at 208, 853. Let's switch over to cram exam from here. So that was what, 208, 853. 209.705. So it's like 900 difference. It's a pretty small difference. Um, it, it is, uh, for a very small difference, it, it's, it's slightly better, but it, it did free up a lot more dust. <clears throat> it freed up dust. And right now, our approval is plenty good. This is a plenty good. Um, so I can afford to run cram exam right now instead of uh, brains over bucks. So that'll work. We'll, so we'll, we'll just do that. We're going to leave that in place for a bit. And we've got two more systems we can take before we go over the cap. And we only have two more systems to take. Ha, cool. Um, on the uh, on the star lanes here. Uh, and then um, these five outlying systems will put us over the cap. But um, we will... I'll take a look and see if maybe I can get some more autonomous administrations uh, kind of bumped up in the queue so that it'll happen sooner. Um, maybe we can get those knocked out roughly in line with these uh, conquests and uh, try to keep uh, our, our, our limit uh, going up. And then, uh, then once we've knocked that out, then yeah, we'll be ready to... Uh, Start uh, taking a good look at uh, these systems out here and uh, figuring out how we'll proceed with moving forward. All right, well, that's it. All that's left now is to click next uh, intern. Um, I'm going to not do that in case. I still do occasionally have, uh, have my recordings um, fail for whatever reason. Uh, and then I have to record the whole episode again. Uh, so I'm going to not hit intern right here. Um, but normally that's what I would do next and then we would get our sneak peek at the next turn but I think this video is already plenty long so we're not going to do a sneak peek at next turn uh, that'll just happen next turn uh, so thanks everybody for watching I know this is a long one uh, definitely wanted to do something a little different once in a while um, so thanks for watching everybody we'll see you see you next time